Okay, this is the quick way to uh, season a carbon steel pan. So what you'll need is some flaxseed oil and some paper towels and uh, a lot of heat. I find that gas works best with this method, but you could easily use a glass top. The problem is there's so much smoke that doing this inside is bound to irritate somebody like my wife. But this method will quickly get a good buildup of burnt oil on your pan. You can see here, it, it looks pretty good around this area, but this area is, is uh, I've lost some of that seasoning. I'm gonna concentrate the oil over here. You'll see what I mean. It's a pretty foolproof way to season your pan without uh, spending the next couple hours doing it. And I'm just gonna put a little base coat down. And I want you to notice how that oil looks. It, it just kind of rolls around on there and absorbs. That's gonna be very different then it will look when we get this all the way to the right temperature. I'm gonna put an, another paper towel on here because like I said, I'm gonna get this as hot as I can. Frankly, it burns me right through. So that's about four or five paper towels and they're folded so that I've got a good cushion and I'm less likely to burn my hand. I could use a glove, but this will work. I really don't think you can get the pan hot enough. Just trust your pan and get it really as hot as you can get it. You know when you're hot enough because the oil will boil as soon as it hits the pan. So see, now it's sitting up on top because the pan has some coating on it and it's getting hot, but that's still nowhere near where we want to be. You can also move the pan around, so I'm getting uh, hot, more heat over here, so I'm just gonna pull this over so the burner is more concentrated on this side. You do get a little bit of a gum buildup with this method, but it scrubs off really easily with hot water once the pan's completely cool. That gum layer is just on the surface. An easy scrub will get rid of it right away. Pan surface is getting slicker. It's not as slick as I want it to be, but it's, the paper towel is uh, gliding around pretty, pretty easily. I can also tell it's not hot enough yet because I haven't burned my paper towel. That's the next thing that'll happen. Paper towel will get black. I do have this burner on high. Every time that it starts to get hazy, I add more oil. See how it's starting to get a little bubbles in it? We're getting close. See the bubbles? We're about halfway there as far as heat. And you can feel the difference. It's just gliding over. And that oil is burning right into the surface of the pan. I keep pulling the pan back a little bit because I want this side of the pan to get even hotter. You can see I've got this half moon going. I want the whole pan to look like that. There we go. Now we're starting to get some heat. So I do this for about, really about three or four minutes once the pan is this hot. Five, six coats. And each time you can see that oil is just getting hotter and hotter. And you want to spread it around evenly and smoothly. You can feel the difference. This area over here is super slick. This area over here on the far side is not. And I'll even that out with additional coats over in this area. See how that oil just burns immediately? See how the paper towel is starting to burn? And you can see just from where we started, the pan is getting blacker and blacker. This layer of burnt oil acts like Teflon. It's really amazing. Nothing will stick. The heat being so high 
burns it onto the pan surface. It just bonds it. The higher the heat, the better the bond. And this coating will last through even some, uh, even cooking with acidic foods like tomatoes. See that oil boil? Now we're, we're really hot. But it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. See that black surface? It's just burning in across. It's been on high this entire time. That's it, paper towel burned. I'm gonna take a new paper towel and a little bit more oil and just finish it off with this. That looks good. So what I'll do is let this cool completely, and then I'm going to uh, wash it under hot water with a little bit of abrasion, and that'll remove any oil on the surface that didn't bond. Hot. That right there will last, I mean, it'll last months, really until you uh, cook something acidic. That'll start to wear it away. But that is how you, that is the quick version anyway for putting a, a good seasoning coat on the cooking surface of a, of a uh, carbon steel skillet. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos all the time.